Today I'm going to show you a sequence that's going to allow you to release and unlock your tight upper traps. What's going on everybody? How you doing? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a sequence of stretches, breathing techniques, and actually strengthening exercises, all designed to help you actually release and get rid of the tension and tightness that you have in your upper traps. To begin, the upper fibers of the trapezius, okay, the upper traps, they attach on the shoulder blade and then run up and attach on the neck, the cervical spine, and the back of the head. And what these upper fibers of the, of the trapezius do is they shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Now, if you're somebody that is chronically tight in the upper traps, then we can presume that you're overactive there and you're kind of using them too much throughout the day. A couple of things that can actually create this tension, this overactivity in the upper traps in the first place are one, poor stress management and having just way too much stress in your life, being stuck in fight or flight mode, all right? If you think about what happens when you scare somebody, when you startle them, you really jolt them and kind of surprise them, what do they do? They go, <gasps> right? They shrug their shoulders up and they go, <gasps> they take this mouth breath, all right? This type of breathing, this type of response, like I said, uh, is associated with being stuck in fight or flight mode or having a, a stress response. So lots of people that are carrying around a lot of tension here in the upper traps simply are just not managing their stress uh, as well as they could be. Another big cause of chronic tension in the upper traps is secondary breathing patterns, all right? I've made many videos on this in the past. Effectively, you wanna be breathing using your diaphragm as your main respiration muscle. That's a big dome-shaped muscle in your chest. Um, that should be the muscle that's doing the majority of the work when you're breathing in and out, all right? Now, a lot of people don't use that muscle as well as they could be because they're breathing through their mouth and they're recruiting these secondary respiration muscles instead, which are basically all of these muscles in the neck, the you know, scalenes, the levator scapula, the pecs, and even the upper traps. These muscles are supposed to assist the diaphragm, but if you're not using your diaphragm, they kind of take over and do all the work. So if you're breathing poorly, you're a mouth breather, Basically, every single time that you take a breath, that is contributing to potential tightness and overactivity in the upper traps because think of every breath that you take in this way like a repetition training those muscles, <laughs> all right? So if you have a lot of tension in there, you don't wanna be training those muscles and creating more tension. So in a second here, I'm gonna show you some exercises to effectively deal with this, but it's very important for you to understand those things that I just mentioned because oftentimes, like I said, those are at the root cause of chronic tension in the upper traps in the first place. And if you don't address it there, all of these exercises that I'm gonna show you in a second here, you're just gonna kind of be spinning your wheels with these, maybe maintaining, but not really effectively getting better. One of the first things that we wanna do when combating this muscle imbalance, um, this tension of the upper traps, is we wanna do some self-massage of the upper traps, all right? I'm gonna show you how to stretch them in a second, but just understand, anytime you can do self-massage prior to stretching, it's always gonna make the stretch more effective, all right? Think about a rope, all right? If a rope has a bunch of knots in it, all right, what happens when you start pulling two ends of that rope away from one another, all right? The knots tighten up, okay? Myofascial adhesions kind of do the same thing, muscle knots, all right? Um, basically, the long story short is you wanna break up the knots before you stretch a muscle, all right? You'll always get into a deeper stretch. You'll just get more tissue release when you massage muscle first, all right? So I'll show you a variety of ways to actually release the upper traps. One of the my favorite ways is just to get two lacrosse balls, all right, like this, very simple. Put these right on the upper trapezius, all right? Lay back, you lift your hips up pretty high so that the, the balls are digging right into your upper traps, all right? You should, you should feel, this should feel pretty intense, especially if you're pretty tight in the upper traps. What you're gonna do from here is just some, some shoulder flexion and extension like this. All right, I just worked my upper traps yesterday. This is really intense. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna make too much noise about it, but uh, yeah, this feels really intense. But what we're gonna do here is about 10 or so of these. 
And what I want you focusing on, and one thing that you'll be kind of hearing me talk about throughout this video, is breathing into your belly, all right, as you're doing this, trying to stay relaxed and sending that air down into the belly, all right? Neurons that fire together wire together. And what we're doing here is we're inhibiting the upper traps. And if we're breathing while we're inhibiting them with these balls and helping to shut them down, we're teaching your body how to breathe without using the upper traps as much, okay? So we're re-educating your neuromuscular system. So breathe through your nose as you're doing this. Inhale through the nose as your arms go overhead. Exhale as your arms come back to this position. And another thing to keep in mind as well is a lot of people when they're doing self-myofascial release, self-massage on any muscle, they will kind of recoil in pain or discomfort and they'll contract their muscles as they're trying to release them. All right, I shouldn't have to explain to you that's very counterproductive, okay? If we're trying to release the upper traps, we need to stay relaxed. You need to consciously override your muscular system with your mind and force your body to stay relaxed as you're working on those tight tissues, okay? If you're squeezing them, uh, you know, because it's uncomfortable, you're really just gonna be exacerbating the, the problem and getting less benefit from the exercise. Nothing should hurt when you're doing self myofascial release, I want you to know that pain is not normal. Um, discomfort uh, is, all right? And the more tight you are in the upper traps, the more proportionate discomfort you will feel when you are releasing them. If something hurts though, uh, there's a difference again between discomfort and pain. If something is painful and hurts, stop doing it and go see a doctor. Another thing we can do to kind of hit some of those fibers of the upper traps that are closer to the neck and the back of the, the head that we weren't really able to hit with what we just did, you can take the ball, all right, and then, you know, bring the ball right here and just work it kind of back and forth, up and down, kind of behind your ear here, right? If you look at a anatomy chart of the upper trap, you'll see where it comes up and attaches behind the head and, and on the back of the neck, all right? So we're kind of, just getting into those fibers now with this technique, just kind of rolling up and down about 30 seconds on the left side, 30 seconds on the right side. We want to be gentle with this. Obviously, there's a lot of sensitive structures in the neck. We don't want to have all of our body weight on it like what we did with that first release. With this, be really gentle, become familiar with the anatomy of the upper traps, and just gently work some of those uppermost fibers of the upper traps that we weren't able to get into with the first myofascial release that I showed you. All right, so now that we're done massaging the upper traps, reducing that neurological drive going in there, breaking up some of those myofascial adhesions, now what we can do is stretch it, all right? So there's a variety of ways to stretch the upper traps. Really, we have to keep in mind the function of the upper traps, which is to shrug the shoulder up, all right? To stretch it, we have basically do the exact opposite, all right? To press the shoulder down, I like to do this seated, to press the shoulder down, kind of push the arm down into the ground like this. Really try to pull that shoulder down, all right? And then kind of tilt your head away from it, like this, all right? You can even kind of bring it forwards a little bit like that as well. You should feel this whole area stretching. You want to do this for about 30 seconds, all right? Uh, if you want to do a, uh, there's another version of that where you can kind of grab your arm from behind your back. All right, so I'm gonna grab this wrist with this hand behind my back. All right, you kind of pull the arm down like that, and then you build, tilt your head away from it like this. You might feel this more intensely. Either way, you wanna spend about 30 seconds doing this one or the, that first stretch I just showed you um, on each side, all right? 30 seconds all the way up to 45 seconds. So what did we just do so far? We massaged the upper traps we stretch the upper traps, okay? Now you should have a lot less tension in there than you did before, okay? But it's not enough. Anytime you have a muscle imbalance, that's always a two-sided coin. Anytime there are muscles that are short and tight and truly in need of massage and stretching, there are always corresponding muscles that are weak in association with those tight muscles, all right? And they're usually the antagonist muscles, the muscles that do the opposite. All right, and in this case, that's the lower trap. So what we need to do to promote muscular balance between the upper traps and the lower traps is strengthen the lower traps, all right? It's not enough to just 
stretch and release the upper traps if you want them to stay stretched and released. You've probably seen many videos on YouTube of people showing you how to stretch and release the upper traps and you might have tried them out only for them to tighten right back up on you again a couple hours later the next day. All right, the real secret in keeping the upper traps relaxed and supple and preventing that tension from coming back again is promoting more strength in the lower fibers of the trapezius. So one of the best ways to strengthen the lower traps is to do prone Y raises, right? Here's how this is done. You're gonna lay in your stomach. I've showed this before, but it's very important for this video that you understand all the nuances here. You're gonna bring your arms out like a capital Y, okay? At about approximately 45 degrees with your thumbs up, all right? What you're gonna do is this motion right here, all right? Now, it's really important that as you're doing this, you're focusing on pulling the shoulder blades down the back away from the ears and you're kind of pinching your shoulder blades together at the same time, all right? Keeping that chin tucked, not lifted up like this. Chin tucked, pushed straight up, shoulders to press down the back. All right, kind of raising from right here all the way up to here. One thing that you're gonna have the propensity to do if you have tight upper traps is you're gonna to wanna to shrug the shoulders up like that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but this is gonna create more tension in the upper traps, all right? You have to keep the shoulders pulled down the back the whole time as you do this, all right? That's critical. If you're shrugging your shoulders up, like I said, uh, during that motion, you're gonna be just contributing to tension in the upper traps again. So you have to be pulling those shoulder blades down. The tighter you are in the upper traps, the harder it's going to be for you to do this, all right? And it might not even feel like you're able to effectively do this, but you need to think about it, all right? Help create that mind-muscle connection with the lower traps by thinking about depressing the shoulder blades down, being aware of the position of those lower traps and thinking about those muscles work and squeeze and fire and contract, all right? If you need to, you can do some of that self-massage and that stretching of the upper traps again in between sets of the lower trap Y raises to help inhibit those upper traps from firing, all right? So do as many, much release as you need to, but when you go into the strengthening of the lower traps, make sure that you are really not shrugging those shoulders up, all right? Um, I've made another video on this in the past some of the best exercises to strengthen the lower traps, all right? You can check that out up here if you're watching this on desktop or a laptop, all right? That card right there will have the uh, link to the video that I made on this in the past. Um, I might also put it in the description down below, we'll see. But you need to understand the tighter you are in the upper traps, yes, we need to release it. I showed you how to do that today with massage and stretching, but you also need to strengthen the lower traps. That's the real secret sauce. That's what's really going to help those lower traps uh, or the upper traps stay soft and supple. The more strength that you're able to develop in the lower traps, the better off the upper traps are going to be. As a bonus to kind of wrap up this video, let's say you did four sets of 10 of the you know, Y raises, you did a couple sets of massage and stretching of the upper traps and you want to kind of finish this flow up, one thing that I'd recommend doing is practicing your breathing patterns again, right? Retraining your body to use a diaphragm and not using the upper traps so much to breathe, all right? Um, this is also a really powerful stress mitigation technique, diaphragmatic breathing. I showed this before many times in my videos too. Lay on your back, put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, and breathe through the nose the whole time send about two thirds of the air into your belly, the last one third comes into the chest. It'll look like this. So two thirds here, one third here. As you're breathing like that, make sure that you're keeping your shoulders down. Make sure that you're developing more mind muscle connection and awareness of your upper traps and you're keeping these areas really soft and supple doing this for about 30 to 50 breaths at the end of this whole sequence of exercises is really powerful like i said because neurons that fire together wire together you're going to go into this breathing exercise with more uh you know 
more of a reduction in the tension in your upper traps, more activation in those lower traps, and you'll just be primed to actually breathe better this way. And we want to enforce that directly with practicing your breathing patterns, right? So end your little session here uh, with that breathing and let me know how it goes for you. That's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have and you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do that. Also, follow me on Instagram. I post a ton of content over on Instagram that I don't post here. Uh, I do exclusive Q&As on there and other things that I directly kind of communicate with my followers there a lot more easily than what I'm able to do here. So if you're not following me there yet, make sure you go ahead and do that. Also, if you have a lot of muscle imbalances and poor posture, and you feel like your workouts are making these things worse, then you are really gonna like my three-day functional training split. This is a free workout, it's available on my website, that effectively teaches you, I realize I've said that word effectively a million times in this video, it teaches you how to uh, strengthen your body while correcting common muscle imbalances and postural misalignments, all right? So it will help you get leaner and stronger while improving your posture and your muscular balance. If this is something that you think you'd benefit from, then open up the description down below, click the first link available there, that will take you over to my, web my website. As soon as you get there, I'll ask you for your email. Once you enter in your email, I'll send you a copy of that workout within five minutes. If you're looking for another spot to get that workout, you can click this button right up there. That will take you to the same page on my website. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do that over there. And if you wanna see a video very similar to this one, all about breathing, all right, check out this video over there. And that's really it for today. Let me know what you want me to make videos on in the future in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.